Hi guys, this is uh, another video of the um, uh, drone bashers. Um, this is just uh, going back to the Robocat. On this uh, video, I'm just going to show you how to do all the electrical wiring on it. Uh, so, um, to start off, we've got these uh, motors. They are um, DIYS motors. Yeah, I've got these uh, 12 amps ESC, so I'll just open it to show you. There you are. They're nice and small. They'll be going. They'll be going inside this uh, bottom tray here. I'll just put these aside now because we won't need it. And because uh, what, what I normally do with these, um, I'll attach the motors, and I'll see which uh, which rotation, like which way it's rotating, and then I'll attach them onto each of the sides, and I'll color code it because one of them, one of them would be counterclockwise and clockwise. So I'll make sure like they've got the right side on. So uh, when I throttle it, uh, the screws won't be coming undone. So uh, yeah, just to make it a bit easier. For this uh, setup, I will be using the CC3D, um, and uh, I'll be using OpenPilot, as you can see this I've printed out. And um, once I've uh, installed everything, I'll have light motor one, two, three, and four, and uh, these will be the rotation that they'll have to spin. After I've um, added uh, my ESCs and um, and made sure they're rotating in the right direction. I also added a bit of heat shrink on there just to make sure it's uh, nice and sealed. <clears throat> and uh, now what I need to do is make sure I put them in the right place so they'll spin in the right direction. I've actually pre-tuned them because what I done was uh, before I welded them, I welded one on. I always welded the middle, the middle one on of the EC to the middle motor, because the ones you have to change is the ones on the outside, because uh, it, then it'll make it spin in different directions. So then what I done was I just plugged that to the lipo, plugged it to one of these flyscreen receivers with twin aerial, and um, on channel three, because channel three is the thr a throttle on the flyscreen, and I, with uh, with this uh, control. I just basically throttled it, just to see if it was working. And uh, the thing is, I calibrated the ECs uh, one by one. The way to do it is, is basically when your motors are turned off, you plug that into your receiver, onto your receiver on channel three, which is the throttle. And uh, before you turn anything on, well, you can turn the control on. But after you've turned the control on, you full throttle it, and uh, you turn, you plug this into the lipo. And then it will just it will make a couple of beeps, and you put the throttle back down, and it will just the, the calibration will be over. I've done that with all my ESCs just to make it just so the throttle response will be a bit quicker. And uh, now I'm just gonna add the motors. Basically, they'll just go in like this, like so. So that'll be like um, clockwise, counterclockwise, and that will be counterclockwise and clockwise. And. Uh, the way the the colors of the um, the motors are actually um, set. So basically, uh, when I use my um, these uh, the screws because they're actually like they're clockwise and anti-clockwise. Um, so what we'll do is if I put them the wrong way around, when I throttle it, if I put this one here on the uh, clockwise side, that will just unscrew. So that's why I've done it like this.